Okay, so we're going to look at how to make a form. Um, so for the demonstration, we're going to make a pizza order form so you can order a pizza online. Okay, so I've just set up some basic things here. So HTML and head tags with a title uh, with pizza order there. And then we've got a body, a H2, place your order and a paragraph just describing that. Okay, so if we were to run that, it looks just like this. Okay, nothing special thus far. So we're going to start off with our form tag and in that action equals mail to and then you put in your email address there so we're just going to type your email at your email dot com and the method for that equals post okay now to format the form uh, we're going to make it all full within the table uh, we're not going to worry about a border or anything like that so we'll just leave that tag as is and we'll just close our table tag there and we'll close our form underneath there as well okay now we'll start off with a, a row in that row we're going to put in some data so so table data um, your name Is that and another cell td and we're going to use input and the type equals text okay so it's going to be a title area the name of that text box is name and we'll set the size to 30 okay and we'll end that input tag there okay and we'll end our table data cell there and then we're going to go back and end our table row now we'll start another table row table data phone this is much the same as the first one we just did um, end our table data and another one getting messages <laughs> table data um, and input it's fun, isn't it? Input type. In fact, let's just copy that one. And there's one thing we're going to have to change um, because we can't have the same thing twice. We want to change that. We'll just put ph for phone, and we're going to put in max length. Ah. type today so, uh, there we go max length equals 10 and we're going to put a value in there which will be a number you can ring uh, we'll the space there okay so so far we have our heading and our paragraph that was already set then your name in there it's a type of thing so you put a name in there and phone so you put your phone number in there now that's the value of very preset but you'd want to put something else in there okay and our max length on that one is 10 so i'm trying to type but i can't put anything more in there so if we were to count it up and 10 okay i can't put any more in there okay because that's our max length value we'll put there okay close that and Okay, I better close. Oops, I better finish off that table data cell, and I better finish off the table row cell as well. Uh, table row tag as well. Okay, what else do you need to know when you order a pizza? Um, the size, table data. Uh, let's put this one in bold. Okay, because the size is very important. When you're ordering a pizza, you don't want to go hungry. And our bulb tag and our table data. And oh, gotta end it before we start another one. Table row, table data. Oh. And in this one, we're going to put. 
put in family. Okay, TD. And we'll do another tag, TD. And in this one, I'm going to put in input. And type. You'll understand why I've typed family in a second. Okay, it will make sense. Type equals radio. Okay, and name is going to be size. Uh, let me just put that in quotations. Size, and the value for that one is family. Okay. I'm just going to show you that. So, what I've done is type family, and then next to that, we have a corresponding radio button. Okay, so what we're going to have is all the sizes um, listed, and next to them will be a radio button that will be selected. Okay, so for that, what we'll do, speed it up, we'll just copy all of that, and we're going to paste it three more times. Okay, uh, so we'll have large, and the value of this one will be large. Then we'll have small, and the value of that one will be small. Oh, I've got an extra one, haven't I? Uh, that should be large, sorry. Oh, top large, and we'll just get rid of that one because we've only got the three sizes. Okay, so we'll save that, and here we go. So we've got a radio button, so you can only select one. Now, what you need to make sure is the name for a radio uh, input type uh, is the same. Okay, so if this one was different, so if I put in, say, size 2, it's not going to work. I could select, oh, I'm going to refresh that. I could select more than one input at a time. Okay, so make sure that the, si the name of an input for a radio is the same. Okay, there we go. So it should be like that, okay? All right, what else have we got? You need to know how many pizzas you want to order. Okay, so we'll do another table row, table data. In that table data, we'll type how many? Question mark. Okay, and do another table data cell. Another input. The type of this one can be a text. And we've got to put a set of name. How many? And because you don't want people ordering too much, you've got to set a size for that as well. So let's just make it four. And we'll finish that one off. Close our table data cell. And what is our table row? And we need to know what type of pizza they're ordering. So we'll start another row, start another one of them, and we'll type, type. Close our table data. Start a new table data. And this one, because we've got multiple types, we'll do a different type of input. So we're going to type select, oops, select name equals type and the size can be four and multiple can be multiple okay and option so we know what we have there. Value equals uh, what have we got? The lot. And in there we'll type the lot. We'll close that option tag. Uh, let's say we have four different types of pizza. So we'll just copy that, paste it down, and let's say Aussie. Change it in here. 
there as well, the Aussie. Oh, let's say they have a mm, barbecue chicken. Fucking barbecue chicken here. And what else have we got? Vegetarian. So I have to, I forgot, I have to end our select. It's that there as well, okay? And we'll go down and end our table row. Save that, and there we go. So we've got how many, okay? And you can also choose what type of pizza it is, okay? And let's see what else we've got. Oh, if you want to pick up. that tag up and we'll do that tag again radio pick up or deliver okay close that one like so and on the next row so the data this one's gonna say deliver okay now the reason we've got it like this is so that this one lines up with the second tag this one lines up with the first tag, okay. Deliver, and we'll finish off that table row right there. Oops. Okay, and if there's any other delivery info, let's put this in, um, and put it in bold text as well. time as well. So another one. one type table data cell delivery time. Uh, and another table data. And we'll do the same as we've all done up here. So with select and the options. Select tag. And the last thing you want to do on a form is you, you want to be able to submit it or clear it. Okay, so we're going to put an input type in here. This one is going to be submit. 
value of that one is going to equal submit order and we'll put it in another one and this one's going to be of type reset okay and reset order So when we run that, what it's going to look like is this, okay? So we've got our delivery info down here, different options there. Uh, if we were to put in an order, let's just put in some gibberish here. If you hit the reset button, clears it all. If you submit the order, it sends everything the person's ordered to the corresponding email address you put up the top here, okay? That's about everything we need to cover. Uh, thanks for watching.